A student of Cal State University Northridge died while on a hike with his friends in the Angeles National Forest yesterday afternoon. This was a fraternity-sponsored hike where he was a pledge. We all want to enhance our look before we take a photo. But don't worry about spending money for expensive beauty cosmetic products because you can now use the Beauty Mirror app. People in Hawaii are gearing up for two major back-to-back -back storms this week. Although it is expected to weaken by the time it hits the island, forecasters say it could still be hurricane strength. When you say we're not going away with these issues, what are those issues? Basic equality, the same pay, the same job opportunities, the same health care opportunities. Ako po si Effie Barker at nandito ako ngayon sa Sobac Gallery in Abut Kenny, Venice Beach para sa opening exhibit na pinamagatang Infinity Infinities featuring the film artist Juana Bacalso Garao. How did you prepare for this exhibit? You know, it took a lot of planning. Um, we started actually in January. We started looking for places and it's been, um, it's been fun because part of the research was to actually go to a lot of different um, art events. So that's always fun. So a lot of inspiration as we went along. What can people expect from this exhibit? I think from this exhibit you will see a refreshing new take on art. Nandito ako ngayon sa Universal Studios for the red carpet of the movie Kobu and the Two Strings. Well the story is really good and I liked it from the beginning. <laughs> you have to work to get a happy ending in the story of your life and that's what young Kubo has to do. You can start a story, you can carry a story on but it's hard to finish it and hard to get the ending you want and maybe the ending's not what you expect it to be. With us today is the son of the labor union leader, Cesar Chavez, attorney Fernando Chavez. What would you think would be uh, Cesar Chavez think of the 2016 election? And what would he think of the politics of immigration of today? Well, I think he'd be appalled. And with us is the Consul General Angelito Cruz. You mentioned earlier in your speech about Jose Rizal, you know, being proud of his heritage. I've heard also some other um, people here in Los Angeles that even though we are already recognized, but there's, we're still kind of being in the shadow. Uh, what do you say about that? Well, the Filipino people in general, they work hard, quietly effectively, efficiently. Tinian kwa le, gong hei fa chai, manigong bagong taon. Happy New Year po sa lahat ng ating mga kaibigang Chinoy. At mga kawili-wiling kwentong pampolitika, ekonomiya, at general knowledge na maaring hindi nyo pa narinig. Kasi pag nagkakampanya yun, mga, mga, mga politicians, dalawa lang yan eh. Ako galing sa ganito. Galing alam sa hirap. Ko, oh, oh. Alam ko kung anong pinagdadaanan mo. Yun, yun. Parang nakaka-connect sila. Oh. Yung resulta ng um, survey, hindi nakaka sa mga tao eh. Kasi for example na lang, doon kay Bobongbong Marcos, malaming nag-criticize dahil hindi nga siya nag-apologize sa kasalanan ng father niya. Pero tingnan mo, number one siya. Hello everyone! Welcome to Effie Barber Human Interest. Today is very special day. I get the chance to interview the esthetician to the stars, Miss Olivia Kido. Thank you so much, Effie, for having me. It's such a pleasure. I think this is one of the best that I, I think I would say my favorite. With all your interviews, you know, you have your questionnaires. And, and then you also did, like, you know, research. Like, yes. all the things that you said, like, you would only say that because you did it in your research. Of course. Saan ang libo-libong Pilipino ang Cathedral of Our Lady of the Angels dito sa Los Angeles sa pagsisimula ng simbang gabi? Ayon kay Bishop Oscar Solis, Auxiliary Bishop of the San Pedro Pastoral Region, masaya siya sa naging kinalabasan ng unang gabi ng simbang gabi. You, you saw the number of people who came tonight. In spite or despite of the rain, the inclement, inclement weather, people came. And the, the church, you could feel the spirit. It's so alive. You know, it's so festive, even the songs. Simbangabi is one of the oldest spiritual tradition in the Philippines. They call it Misa de Gallo. It started in order to provide opportunities for those who work, who go to work early, so that they will have the opportunity to go to church. Our Holy Father, in fact, uh, exhorted us that those immigrants should not be embarrassed of their cultural traditions. Karamihan sa mga nagsimba ay nagdarasal na matutupad ang kanilang mga wish ngayong Pasko. Kabilang na si Zeni Malalin Pera na pinagdarasal niya na gumaling na ang kanyang ina. My wish for Christmas is for my mom to get better. I would really look forward to seeing her in March. My wish for the world is of course peace and happiness. 
and especially at a time that we are right now. Sa homily ni Bishop Edward Clark, Auxiliary Bishop ng Archdiocese of Los Angeles, pinigyan niya ng importansya ang dahilan kung bakit ininaos ang simbang gabi. Why did you go out? Because you were curious? Because you wanted to see a celebrity? Because you hope to hear a prophecy being told? At may mensahe din si Bishop Solis para sa mga Pilipino ngayong Pasko. I wish the Filipinos to continue to continue making a difference in the life of the church in America. I consider the Filipinos, we consider the Filipinos as the new Irish missionaries into the new found land. Siya ay isang limamput isang taong gulang from Seattle, Washington. Isa rin siyang nationwide speaker on the subject of wellness and nutrition. Sa unang bahagi ng ating serye, mapapanood natin ang mapait niyang karanasan sa dati niyang asawa na isa rin Pilipina. I met my ex-wife, who is a Filipino working on contract in Singapore. And we got along really, really, really well. And one thing led to another. And over time, we got married in Cavite, and eventually she came here. How long did this texting and calling, uh, how long did it take before you actually become serious with it? About six months' time. And then it's three months after that, we were married in Cavite. And then it was almost three years before she came here. At the same time she was married to me, she was engaged to five guys that I know about. There may have been more, but there's five that I know about today, all across the country, from Florida to Anaheim to Colorado. And at the end of the day, all five of these gentlemen were sending money to my wife, thinking that they were engaged to her. They've got a good business. I felt betrayed. And there really are no words to describe how you feel <laughs> when you've been played like a fiddle so well. I mean, you've been used. You're a patsy. You're, you're everything that we tend to look down on when we look at people who have gone through this experience and say, why didn't you know? And that level of betrayal, there's no words to describe it. But inside, inside you come apart. 